it's Jody from the Clutter Free Classroom, cfclassroom.com, and I put this video together to show you how I used a collection of the different projects from my life cycle of a plant unit and put them together using just two large pieces of construction paper to create a portfolio for each of the students. So the cover is one of the printables where they wrote their name and then I took a photo of each of them holding a magnifying glass and then holding their hand out flat printed it um, just on the regular printer in grayscale setting and had them each create a plant using construction paper and a sharpie. I kind of like how the um, contrast of the grayscale photo with the color looks. So when you open it up, on the left we have the plants have need and give printable. There's a few different versions of it, but um, for this one they just listed on uh, leaves, on the stems for each of the categories, such as plants need sunlight and soil and give air things like that. This side is um, a piece of construction paper which was folded in from either side to make a little flip and then attached at the seam. Included photos taken during our unit, um, which you know parents always love when pictures go home. And this is a plants parts flip book which is already labeled for the kids and what they did was then drew in their plant or flower next to it and aligned it so that it was next to the label and then once you lift it up wrote a description um, based on their research and what they had learned of each of the different parts of the plant. This then flips open and on this side we have what do plants need and so it just kind of opens twice. The first one will give it the label water and then again the students wrote descriptions um, to show their learning. In the middle, we had started the unit with a seed search where the kids all had a chance to cut open different fruits and vegetables and they drew pictures of the seeds, they counted how many seeds were inside and listed some of the properties. They also kept a booklet where we planted bean seeds and every few days they would measure them and track their growth and make observations. So they did that through words and drawings. which. Kind of a neat little journal. And then over here is the plant life cycle. Again, it flips open in each of the sections, and it was a place for the students to document their learning. Fold that back in, and then it flips one more time in the booklet. And for this activity, they had planted seeds in a Ziploc bag with wet paper towels, so they kept track of the growth there. And on this side, I took um, just a collection of other activities we had done, some essential questions, more on the life cycle, different experiments that we had done in class. That was their experiment log. We went on a nature walk, and the students drew illustrations and labeled what they found. So those just really fit nicely stapled together at the top to keep it together. Like I said, it's just a really neat way to collect their work and send it home as one portfolio. Um, you could also use each of the components individually. So once again, you can um, get the booklet and all the printables at cfclassroom.com, and once you get there, just click through to the store. Thanks so much for looking. Take care. Mm -hmm.